Anybody can make a change at any time. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter your circumstance. It doesn't matter the context around what that dream was or what that dream could be. Everybody can make a change and pursue extraordinary, can pursue greatness. Because again, it's still in you. No matter if you're 20, 40, 60, or 80, the greatness that you were born with, the potential that you were born with is still inside you until the day you die. And so why not start now? And so again, those, those times you hear people say, well, I don't really need anything like that. Push back on them. Is it really, is it, is it really that you don't need it or that you realize that you'll never have it? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, Lone Wolf once again, as Joseph is uh, out and about today, uh, but wanted to uh, record this episode 116 of the Sales Wolves podcast. But I had a topic that's just kind of been on my mind uh, over this last week. And I wanted to kind of hash it out, uh, if you will, on this episode of the Sales Wolves podcast. You know, we could we could title it Lost Dreams or um, Finding Dreams or, you know, Where Did All the Dreams Go? Um, but it's just a thought that I've had lately. You ever hear this? You ever hear somebody say, man, I don't, I don't need a car like that. Or, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want a house like that. I don't want a house that big. I don't want a house that nice. Or you ever hear somebody say like, I don't need to make that type of money. I don't need to make that much money. Yeah. I don't, I don't really want to have, you know, that watch. I don't, I don't want to have this and that. Sure you do. Of course you do. I think that our society the majority have just come to the realization that they're just not willing to put in the work required to have these things. And so knowing that they're not willing to put in that work, they have wrapped this security blanket around it of the idea that they don't want it or that they don't need it or that they wouldn't enjoy it or like it because that makes them feel better about living their life of mediocrity. And, you know, as I think about that, it makes me sad at first because that's not what we were created for. As humans, we were not put on this earth to live mediocre lives. We were not put on this earth to settle for anything less than extraordinary. Because inside each and every one of us is the potential for greatness, is the potential for extraordinary. I truly believe that. Uh, It looks different for every single person as far as where it comes from, as far as what it looks like, as far as where in life it ultimately is realized. But inside of every single one of us, we were born to do something extraordinary. And when you do something extraordinary, you're able to have things that are extraordinary. You're able to live an extraordinary life. And so it's sad when when we find people that have the capability, that have the potential, but that have chosen not to pursue it because of the work required. Just because as I just said, you were born with greatness in you, that you were born with the ability to be extraordinary, to have extraordinary things, to do extraordinary things, doesn't mean it's going to be easy just because it was born into you. It's still going to take tremendous amounts of work to accomplish those things, to be able to do those things, to be able to live that out. And I think that's where people just plain make a decision that it's not worth it for them. And it's sad. It really is. And so I think, you know, as I look at society as a whole, 
I think the dreams are getting smaller and smaller. Whereas, you know, the, the people that do go out and, you know, the one percenters, the, the ones that go out and, and accomplish just these incredible things in life, they had the audacity to, to continue on those big dreams, to have huge goals, um, gigantic aspirations. And then they put in the work required to ultimately see it through and to see those to fruition. And, and it's awesome to see that in somebody. And that's, we all love those stories, but yeah, I've come to this realization that people, they look at those stories, they read those stories, they watch, you know, these things happen as though they're watching a movie as though it's not reality for them. So they look at you know, the high achievers, they look at the one percenters, they look at, uh, the people that are living extraordinary lives as, you know, that's, that's that world. And then there's my world and I can never step foot into that world. But the reality is that greatness that's born in every single one of us gives us the ability to live in that world, that that's the world that we're supposed to be in. If we're living out the greatness that's within us. If we're living out and truly operating out of our gifts that are God given, which enable us to live up to our full potential. And it's just sad when people make this realization that, you know what, that, that is great, but this is okay too. And in settling for a life of clocking in, clocking out, and just letting life happen to them instead of just living life on purpose, with purpose, for a purpose, living life on fire, um, waking up every day knowing that you're pursuing excellence, that you're pursuing the greatness that is already in you. And it's really, it's been a very motivating thing for me to come to this realization. You know, even though I said it was sad. It is sad seeing that in others, but it's motivating know that, to know that myself and, and many of you that are watching or listening to this, you still have those big dreams. You still have those gigantic aspirations. And my encouragement and really my challenge to you in this, in this episode today of the Sales Rules Podcast is don't let up in your pursuit of that which you dream for. Don't let up because the second you let up, the second you take your foot off of the gas and start to apply the brake is when that moment of settling, rationalizing, it's when those moments of insecurity, those moments of doubt creep in. But as long as your foot has that gas pedal to the floor, there's no there's no chance of that creeping in. There's no opportunity for that to creep in because your eyes are always forward. And when your eyes are forward, that means you're moving forward. When progress is happening, self-doubt doesn't have a chance. And, the, and remember, any progress is still progress. It's when we let up. It's when we let up that ultimately these thoughts of doubt, these fears of uncertainty, these, these moments come where we wonder, well, I wonder if, I wonder if, I, if, I wonder if it's even possible. And ultimately those are just excuses. They're excuses as to why you may not be able to do some of these things that you're after or excuses as to, you know, why maybe you were meant for something smaller. And you guys have probably heard if you follow my content for any period of time, you know, I talk about Tom Shea, um, the author of unbreakable 23 year Navy seal, uh, just an incredible human being, you know, his theory on excuses that they are, um, subtle, seductive, and believable. But the only time they can start entering your brain, which is the subtle part, is when they start to creep in, is when you're letting up. 
you let up, breaks are necessary, but letting up for any period of time, these excuses are going to subtly creep in and then they're going to become seductive. You're going to start to think, well, you're right. Like you, maybe I don't need to work this hard. Maybe I don't need to push this hard. Maybe I don't, I don't need to do all this stuff that I'm doing. It starts to become seductive. Like, man, it would be nice to take it easy. It would be nice to, you know, all my friends are, are you know, none of them are, are chasing after life at this pace. You know, my family, you know, my, you know, my parents, whatever that is, it becomes seductive. And then when it becomes believable, it's over. When it becomes believable, when that excuse that you're making for why you don't want these things now, when that becomes believable, it's game over. And so the key is to never let up. You must rest. You must take breaks in order to have the longevity, the sustainability to pursue life at this pace long term. But that doesn't mean letting up. Because letting up is something you do mentally. Taking a break, resting, that is something that your physical body needs. But internally is where letting up happens. Like your brain makes a decision to let up, makes a decision not to pursue that which is extraordinary and great and, and at another level than where you are now. And so, guys, I would just challenge you to look at your life. I'd look at your life and, and say, am I settling what are those dreams that I may have had at one time that don't seem so important right now? And understand that just because you have lived for a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, maybe your entire life settling doesn't mean that today you can make a change, that today you can mentally make a switch in your brain to bring those huge, audacious dreams back to life. So if you're sitting here and you're, and you're listening to this, you're watching this and you're thinking, you're right, I, I am settling. I, I, I've abandoned those huge dreams years ago. That's good. Like that's, that's self-awareness to, to realize that. And now you just have to make the decision, do I want to stay there or do I want to make a change? Anybody can make a change at any time doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter your circumstance. It doesn't matter the context around what that dream was or what that dream could be. Everybody can make a change and pursue extraordinary, can pursue greatness. Because again, it's still in you. No matter if you're 20, 40, 60, or 80, the greatness that you were born with, the potential that you were born with is still inside you until the day you die. And so why not start now? And so again, those, those times you hear people say, well, I don't really need anything like that. Push back on them. Is it really, is it, is it really that you don't need it or that you realize that you'll never have it? And guys, I challenge you to dream big dreams. The world does not need any more lives that are just mediocre, that are just happening to you. The world needs people that wake up every morning with their hair on fire, running after life on purpose, with a purpose, achieving extraordinary. I heard something, uh, a quote yesterday, and I'm going to butcher it because I don't know it by memory yet. Um, and the funny thing is, I don't know who actually said it. It was Robin Sharma that was quoting it in his new book, The 5 a.m. Rule or 5 a.m. Theory. Uh, but he was talking about that it's the unreasonable people that ultimately will change the world, that the world is changed by the unreasonable. And so in what area of your life do you need to start being unreasonable? Is it your body? Is it your mind? Is it your relationships? Is it your business? Like what areas of your life do you need to start being unreasonable? Because I would look at someone unreasonable as someone that is determined, someone that is on a mission. They're being unreasonable. The world has plenty of reasonable people. So what are you going to do today to make a change, to make sure that you keep your pedal to the floor and be unreasonable? So with that, guys, this is episode 116. 
of the Sales Bulls podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh.